Okay, family. Well, family, there was quite a bit of controversy on that particular video. And that video was about it is time to leave the evil churches, okay? Well, you all know what I'm trying to introduce us to, get us familiar with. Many of you already are familiar with it. And you, many of you already know, you know, um, you know, all the different aspects of just, hey, plain old survival and protection magic, okay? And, and you all know that I am trying to prepare us as well as you all are trying to prepare me, you know, for, for protective spells, which we call black magic, okay? It's, this is going to be kind of tricky talking about this particular situation. And as y'all know, my, none of my videos are... Uh, I, ha I do, don't do formal videos. It's just whatever you see is what you get because it's just the message, you know. If you get the message, that's because it's meant for you to get it through me. But then it may just take you to go somewhere else. Excuse me, y'all. Just had something to drink. It may take you to go somewhere else to get the message. You, you don't understand what I'm saying? Many of you are not going to understand me. I have a southern drawl. You just ain't going to get it. A lot of you trying though, and so that's meant that that's because it's meant for you to be here this moment. So there's gonna be a lot of teachers out there. There's gonna be a lot of people out there that's be that's going to be getting you this message, okay? Because it is time, you understand, to rise, okay? This is the dark goddess rising right at this moment, okay? And so if you here, it's because you are supposed to be here. Some of you all. You understand what I'm saying? You know, I don't think it. I don't think it's no one here watching this video at this moment that don't supposed to be here. Because if you here, you supposed to be here. Can't nobody tell you you don't supposed to be here. This your message. Now, the reason why I said this is because y'all know I ain't formal and everything. And y'all know my southern draw. Y'all know how Mama talk. Okay, I'm a good old hoodoo uh, witch. Okay, just a good old hoodoo witch. That's all I am. Some people call it old wives' tales. Some call it folk magic. Call it whatever you want. But this is what our ancestors relied on. You understand? This is what they had. This is some, some, some of this is all they had. Okay? And we, we tapping back into it. You understand? It ain't that it left us. We left it, but we coming back. I want to talk about something. And a lot of you may agree and a lot of you may not agree but we know that certain names have bad stigmas attached to it just like i could say i'm a witch and immediately somebody who got a problem with that word gonna think of all of the bad stuff that hollywood done attached to it the church and everything first thing i'm like oh now i want to hear that you know but then i can tell you i'm a i'm a, I'm a prophetess and then you'll be with me a hundred percent so call it whatever you want you understand what i'm saying so, the reason why I got into that is because I want to talk about demons. Everybody knows what a demon is. Okay? But I want y'all to know something. Every last one of you are demonically possessed. Now, I know for a lot of y'all like, oh, no, uh-uh, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Stop a moment and think of what I'm talking about. We already know that they have put a bad stigma attached to everything powerful. Okay? Women, witches, spiritual work. Because it's powerful. So they're going to put a bad stigma attached to it. Being demonically, I'm gonna tell y'all something. Y'all gonna have to really sit down and think about this. A lot of y'all might get madly, but you gotta know that every last one of us have some type of demon living in within us. And now that's just the truth, okay? And I'm gonna give you some examples. You and and see, demons are there to protect you. Now, now they give them that name. They got that bad stigma attached to it, but. Um, I just liken to call them spirits. You understand? They're protective spirits that dwell within you to protect you from any foreign invasions. You need them. And if you don't have them, you're vulnerable to all type of attack, attacks. And the reason why I said that is because I was doing some divining 
with one of my family members. And all of a sudden, this voice came, this hellish five voice came from as I divine and questioned. This hellish five voice came from this particular person. I don't call no names because it's our family members and I protect all of our privacy. But what it told me, it said, you don't know me. I'm going to tell you just in a demonic voice and my family watching me, but I don't call no names. They already know who they is, but they don't, they, you know, they know that I ain't going to tell you know, I ain't going to say who they was, but I'm going to tell you just what the demon said as I divine. He said, you don't know me. And it came out and it said it just like that. And from then, it, it attacked me. And, and I had to deal with that for three or four months. I was drained and it, it was an attack. But that was, that was that person's protection. It was a demon, but it was a good demon for her. It was her protection. The only thing about it, the reason why I was divining for Now, I can say sometimes they can get draining. She was being drained from it. So, we did need to work on that. I did refer her to a priest, a Catholic priest, because sometimes they can get out of control, feed too much. Some of them are not good. That's why they get a bad name. Just like there's some witches out there that ain't good. They get a bad name, you see. So it's a lot of stuff out there. You see what I'm saying? It gets a bad name because of some thing or some entity that was bad. Okay? Um, some of them are not good for you. But then it could be the same way with the angelical spirits too. Okay? They can be draining too. Because sometimes you can go in and you can cast out. You see, and you'll find that some of them are beautiful, angelical, divine beings. And they can drain you too. But the demons get the bad name because the demons are, they, 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 they tend to be more scarier looking. And they, their voice is a little bit more scarier or what have you, you know. But in a sense, you can pretty much get them to work for you. And they'll work for you. A lot of people take advantage of them. And that's why they get so angry. But... I'm trying to tell you guys, we all have demonic possession to some extent. If somebody make you angry, your eyes might pop out, you show your teeth, and you get mad, and you go to yelling and hollering, who y'all think that is? Okay? You, it, you, know, you can say in a sense, that's a demon. That's protection, guys. Don't y'all let them fool y'all out there. The reason why I said that, because I happened up on something when they were talking about, you know, somebody being demonically possessed and they had to cast out that person's demon and the demon had them shaking and a moving and a whatever, you see. Don't, people don't need to mess with that. Only time you mess with those type of defenses, because that's your spiritual defense, believe it or not. There's a movie out called The uh, Golden Compass and it gives you like a very... Uh, Disney type uh, look into what it's like to have your demons and it's really real but it was more of a Disney approach I thought it was cute but you all watch that the golden compass okay all of us are carrying demons that's our protection only time I said mess with them when they are when they are at the point of draining you of your spirits there's somebody else's demons that are attaching to you. You don't know because you're not going to feel well. That's when you see your priest. But just to say, oh, you know, uh, oh, that, that person got a demon and because they're talking about witchcraft. Guys, that's wrong. Because you're going to have to be tapping back into your spiritual work or you ain't going to make it. Because that's going to be all you're going to have to rely on supernatural means. I'm going to say it again, supernatural means. Uh, guys, visit me out there on Facebook. So, if somebody say, I am demonically possessed, I sure am. And I'm going to keep every last one of my demons. Because you know what? It keeps me fired up. It's my protection. And um, as far as black magic, I'm going to be continually, continuously teaching black magic. And I want my family to share any uh, black magic spells that they have. Because in the up and coming days, you're going to need that. And you can sit up and put all that aside and say you're going to trust in the church, the very place that got you in the situation you in in the first place. Round here, don't know how you're going to put gas in your car because you didn't give all your money to the church. Because I'll say again, close all these evil churches because of any place, any place, evil is in the church, not in me, not in my family. 
I ain't taking nothing from y'all. If you go and find out who's taking your money every Sunday, you'll know who, who the demonic spirits are. If you want to say that, if, if that's what you want to call it. Go to the church that just took your last and you can't hardly make it through the week for getting gas. Okay, and it's attacking a lot of our women. And it's using our women to lure more people inside of it. That's what's so scary about it. All I can say is like we need to be encouraging our sisters to stay out of that place because that place don't mean us no good. So stop going around. You know, the church is like an army of soldiers that work for these shadow entities. And y'all know who I'm talking about. Uh-huh. We talked about that. So for the people who don't know where I'm getting at, go back and watch all them videos and stuff that I done made. It'll lead you up to understanding what I am talking about right this moment, okay? So, if you go back and you see in all my videos, you'll say to yourself, I see what Spirit Tree is talking about right now. Because, um, these churches around here is robbing. They taking everything. And then teaching you go out there and find people who are different than you and attack them because you having a bad day. Attack the lady. Attack the lady. I'm sorry. Attack the lady with her head wrapped up. She the one causing all the terrorism. She the ones that's making your life miserable. She's stealing all your fortune. She's doing all these different things. But in actuality, it's them. We, we incorporating soldiers and stuff so that we can win this fight. What that sound like to y'all? That don't even sound right. A war against what? And then they want to say, we're the evil ones. A war against us, we're the evil Let's be for real. It's not us going around judging people on how they live their lives. It's not us going around here telling people that um, they demonically possessed. It's not us around here talking about uh, false idol worshiping. How many men and you letting in and out your house? How many baby daddies you got? It's the church doing that. Think. Y'all come out of that place, okay? It's not doing what it was first designed to do, and that is to feed the hungry. You understand? To house the homeless. It's not doing those things anymore. It's all about money now. Watch the TV. Crap old dollar tell you he got a couple of jets. Come on. Why is congregation around here wondering how they're going to put $100 worth of gas in their SUVs around here? Y'all wake up. Wake up. I just wanted to talk about this demonic possession thing. Hold on to your demons. That's what's going to protect you. Don't let them go. Don't let nobody tell you you demonically possessed because you lighting your candles for your protection. They're just trying to strip you, to strip you away of your protection. It's just like a, a cat. A cat got claws. Everybody think he's evil. Ah, oh, the black cat. Oh, the cat. He's evil because he got claws. That's his protection. He's supposed to have claws. Oh, the snake. Even though snakes just... Do something to my insides. Ah, oh, the snake, he got his venom in him. He's showing his fang. That's, he evil. No, that's his protection. Come on. And a lot of people like, oh, oh you know, if we want to say that, if you see a snake, you know, that's, that's bad. No, it's not. That's the spirit of Dumbala. Come on, let's get real. Let's stop telling, letting them tell us, you understand, what's good and what's evil. Because it's really the opposite of everything they say. Don't get me wrong. I, I care not to have any snakes around me uh, anytime soon. But a lot of times that's the spirit of Dambala. So y'all need to think. Um, even the fangs on a spiral. The, even though they look very dangerous. That stingray, they look dangerous. That's their protective mechanism. Just like your demons are in you to protect you. Don't be letting nobody tell me they're casting these things out. Unless you are truly having a problem. Where you drained. You got a lot of problems, and you need to be evaluated by a practitioner, not no doctor, because a doctor can't really he, he can't really tell you much about that type of stuff. And I ain't got but a few minutes, but I want to talk about that. A lot of people are having awakening experiences, kundalini, kundalini rising, and a lot of things that are happening to you because the third eye is popping open, and you experiencing all kind of things you think you're not well at this point, but basically what it is. You are experiencing, okay, the connection to the cosmos, which is going to feed you and prepare you for this new dimension that you're fixing to get ready to enter into because everybody ain't going. It's going to be a lot going to be lost by the wayside, but they will reincarnate 
to be with us on the other side in the new dimension. You understand? All of us can't go. Um, some of us are not going to make it, okay? But I wanted to talk to you about that. And I had wanted to talk a little bit about... So, But I, I really want to incorporate this black magic. I mean, I want you all to be very... On, I just, like I said, I, I, I am back in that video up 100%. You know, evil in the church. I think we need to do away with every church. Close the doors. I mean, let's use our creative consciousness like we did to bring the sun out. Let's use them to close the doors of the church. Okay. Now, to an extent, the church is, do, does a lot of good things because it keeps people under control. Because a place without a church can be devastating. We don't want that family. Okay. So, um, I got to end this video because my doorbell is ringing and folks can't get in. So, guys, I'll be back in a minute, okay?